feeling. It looks different for everybody. This is what a typical day looks like for me when I'm putting myself first and taking care of myself mentally and physically. Lately, I have been trying to spend more time doing things for myself and hopefully this video can inspire you to do the same. Today, something I want to do is go shopping and get my nails done because to be honest, that is my favorite form of self-care. I'm just gonna finish my morning skincare really quickly. so cute so i wanted to get some jelly looking nails i just wanted something simple but still super cute i've been seeing these like jelly nails all over pinterest and i'm just so obsessed but okay this is the part where we're gonna go shopping so let's start heading over to the mall today on my little shopping spree so i actually got this package in the mail right now i'm kind of curious as to what's in here sometimes i order things and i just forget Let, let's see what's in here yes guys i can explain look how cute this is oh. we're just gonna wear this throughout the hall let's not let's not question it so first we have what i got from lush it's been so long since i've gone to lush i used to love shopping here so much especially when i was younger when i would watch like all the youtubers go to lush and i would just wish that was me so the first thing that i got was this matcha bath bomb i'm so excited i'm going to be using this tonight then i just got this sleepy shower gel i've been wanting to try their shower gels for the longest time and i'm so excited about this so out of all the things that i bought today the one thing that I'm most excited about is this crystal necklace. I went shopping for a new crystal necklace today. If you couldn't already tell, I'm currently in my healing era. Yes, I just made that up. And so I really wanted to get a crystal that would help with that. I did a ton of research. Literally in my journal, I wrote out like a whole little page about this specific crystal that I got. But basically it's great for mental and emotional healing. It's very protective. It welcomes patience and inner wisdom and encourages expression plus purification of one's own thoughts, which I did go into more detail about each of these things, but it just sounded like something that I needed in my life so she will be staying on me from now on then from target i mostly got stuff that i needed to stock up on i try to not purchase things that i know that i didn't need I got myself a new EOS shaving cream. I was in need of a new eye cream. I just got this one from Burt Bees. I needed some new gummies. I got this dry body brush that I really wanted to try out. Next, I'm literally always running out of my body scrubs, so I needed a new one as well. Then I also ran out recently of this hydration sleeping mask that I always use in the nighttime from e.l.f. So that is it for the haul. It is now 1.41. I have to start getting ready for the gym, so let's go do that. I wanted to mention at some point in this video that the gym has become such a huge part of my healing journey, especially because I see exercising as a way for me to get stronger both physically and mentally. Right after the gym, I went straight into the shower and here's a look into my shower routine. This is just supposed to be a quick body shower, which is why I have my hair up in a clip. I actually quickly wanted to tell you guys about Native, which is the sponsor of today's video. I currently own three of their deodorants. I have the oat milk latte scent, the coconut and vanilla scent, and then the powder and cotton scent. My absolute favorite has been the oat milk latte scent. This thing has me smelling so good 24 hours of the day. And that is, by the way, one of the main things that I look for in a deodorant. I love deodorants that say 24 hours of the day. I don't have to reapply. And Native deodorants do just that. These actually have a 24 
24 hour odor protection. If you guys have been looking for deodorants that are aluminum free and paraben free, vegan and cruelty free, Native's deodorants are the way to go. I love that these deodorants are not sticky, they dry quickly, and they're just great for when you're on the go. Native does also offer a plastic free version of their deodorant using the same formula but with more sustainable packaging. Besides deodorants, Native does have so much more products to offer. They have toothpaste and body washes like the one I showed you guys earlier. Three of their deodorants would usually cost you $39, but if you use my link and code Adelala, you'll actually get them for just $26. That's over 33% off. And with my code, you guys can also get 20% off any toothpaste or body wash. I've been trying to create a balance so on the days where I have more free time I like to go out to do something that's fun for me this day I actually had taken time to get ready to go out to watch a sunset if you didn't already know I love watching sunsets Okay, so we're now going to be getting into our self-care night routine. <sighs> it has been such a long day. The first thing we're gonna be doing is this. Ooh. No phone for the rest of the night because it is literally taking over my life. That was aggressive. We need to get rid of the phone. Anyways, I just took off my makeup, put my hair back, put on a comfy outfit, and just started unwinding because we're gonna be getting into a bath soon. I have this face mask here called Catastrophe Cosmetic from Lush. I wanted to start putting this mask on while I have the bathtub running. spending approximately one hour in the bathtub, which was much needed and relaxing, by the way. I just rinsed off my body, lathered myself with this sleepy shower gel that I got today from Lush. Then I proceeded to do my hair care routine because I hadn't gotten to wash my hair earlier. I applied this Olaplex hair mask into my hair, which I let sit while I did my nighttime skincare routine. If you guys would want to see an in-depth hygiene self-care routine, you should definitely let me know in the comments because I feel like that would be such an interesting video. I feel like I've been testing out so many products in the past few months and just recently i started to actually find products that have been working for me important part of my healing journey consists of doing a lot of reading, self-reflecting, and journaling, which I've been doing a lot of recently. Every night now before I go to sleep, I have made it a part of my routine to do some reading, journaling, and self-reflecting. I really wanted to tell you guys at some point in this video about some of my favorite healing related books that have helped me out a lot. So the first one is my absolute favorite. It is called Journey to the Heart. I've been talking about this book non-stop. Another book I would highly recommend that I read recently is actually called The Four Agreements. And then I do have a few other books in mind that I plan on reading that I'm super excited about. One of them is actually called How to Heal Toxic Thoughts. I actually just ordered that book today. I just know that book is going to be so good. Then I'll put a few other books here that I've heard great things about that are really great for your healing journey. I also plan on reading these eventually as well. And as far as self-reflecting goes, journaling is another one of the things that I try to do every single night but I don't force myself to do this if I don't feel like it because I don't want myself to start to hate journaling. I also have this other journal that I've talked about before. It is called Calm the Chaos which is pretty similar to the five minute journal. It basically gives you a bunch of prompts that you could fill out. It's great for self-reflecting if you're not a big journaler. It usually doesn't take that long so on the nights that I don't really feel like journaling I'll just write in here instead. Also it's funny I have been developing this obsession for listening to 
to classical music when I'm reading my books and like journaling. It makes me feel like the main character. I have this whole Spotify playlist here if you guys want to go listen to it. I'm telling you guys, play this playlist while you're reading a book. It's a game changer. All right, so that basically wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed.